Morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a belly band comparison video today, but first I'm taking our new puppy for a walk. This is little Mila. Mila! Hi, sweetie. <laughs> She's still learning the ins and outs of the leash. She's the best little girl and we're so excited to have her. So we're just taking a little walk this morning, but once we get home, we're gonna shoot our new video. So I'm so glad you guys are here to watch and I hope you like it. pretty often when I conceal carry and I really like them because they allow you to wear a lot of different things while still allowing you to carry a gun. I'll be using the same gun to show you all of these holsters so you can see a proper comparison especially in terms of concealment and I'm gonna be using my Smith & Wesson shield. It's empty as you can see also the magazine is empty so I'm gonna go over four different belly bands from four different companies and let you know what I think and there are gonna be five criteria that I'm rating them each on. I'm gonna rate them on comfort, movement, concealability, functionality, and safety. So I'll give each one a score between one and five, five being the highest, and that will hopefully help you guys figure out which one is right for you. Or maybe more than one will be right for you, I don't know. Let's start with the Bravo belt. The Bravo belt is made of this one long, thick strip. It's almost five inches wide, which makes it really comfortable. It doesn't dig into your skin and it's very soft. This particular model that I have has two large pockets and one holster pocket where your gun goes but the newer models have one cell phone pocket and then a split pocket so you can put two extra magazines in it, which is nice. And because it's so wide, it just makes it more comfortable. So I give this Bravo belt a five for comfort. This does not have anything on the inside that holds it onto your body like the Can Can one does, which you guys will see. So it does move a little bit when you're wearing it. For movement, I would rate this holster a two out of five because it does move around a little bit as you wear it throughout the day. It has nothing on the inside to hold it to your skin, so there is a little bit of movement, especially if you're gonna go running or do like rigorous physical activity. This belly band does move a bit. You might have to readjust it throughout the day. For concealment, I give this holster a five out of five. It conceals very well as many of these belly bands do because of how tight they hold the gun to your body. You can wear it with tons of different things and not have to switch up the way you dress. This material makes it very hard to depress the trigger through the material. Even with two fingers, I can't do it. So for safety, because it is just the material guarding your trigger, I give this a three because it is hard to press the trigger through the material. I wasn't able to do it, but since there's no hard material over the trigger, I'm gonna give it a three out of five for safety. For the functionality aspect of this video, I'm basically checking to see how the draw is with this holster. Does it take too long? Is there something in the way? That's what I'm gonna rate these on. So for the Bravo belt, the thing I don't like is that it has this snap that's supposed to hold the gun in its spot in the holster and that button gets in the way of the draw and I really don't like that. So for functionality, I'm gonna give the Bravo belt a one because I don't like that little snap I don't like that I have to do that and remove it before I can draw. It just slows down my draw and that's pretty much the first important thing you have to do when you're trying to defend yourself with a firearm. And it's also not really made of good quality material. I don't think that this would last very long, but this holster only costs about $30, so you're getting what you paid for in terms of quality. Now we're gonna move on to this next belly band, which is by Tactica Defense Fashion. I did a whole video about Tactica. I tried on a bunch of their different concealment options like leggings, and this belly band was also in it, shirts and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna check it out, I will link that video below. This holster has a slimmer band so that affects comfort a little bit, but I do like that this is designed to be worn higher up on your waist, which means that when you sit down, it's not really uncomfortable. You can't feel the gun digging into your legs or the holster digging into your legs at all. 
So as far as comfort goes, I would give this holster a three. For movement, I would rate the Tactica Belly Band a four. It doesn't move around much at all, but there's nothing on it to really make it stick to your body. So there is a little bit of movement there. You can always tighten the strap and keep it in place that way. If you don't wear it tight enough, the gun will make it heavier, obviously, and it'll sag a little bit in the front. So you wanna make sure that you're wearing it tight enough on your waist. And because of the position of the gun in the holster with the grip kind of sticking out to the side and the muzzle sticking out on the other side, it makes concealment a little less than ideal. But it depends on what you're wearing. If you're wearing a flowier shirt or a sweatshirt or something like that, then it's totally fine. You can definitely conceal in, in a lot of different shirts with this holster. So for concealment, I would give this a three. One thing that I love about this holster is the safety of it. There's a hard Kydex shell on the outside. There's no way for that trigger to be pressed. It's not just material guarding the trigger. There's an entire Kydex holster guarding the trigger. So safety, I give this one a five. There's no way to make this gun go off inside the holster. And for functionality, it's at an angle like that, rather than being like this, where you'd have to draw it up the way you draw this one when it's on your body is like this. And it just feels like a more natural angle for your hand to draw that way. So I love the draw with this holster. And putting it back is really easy because it's an open shell. Some of the other holsters have just the material so you have to open it with two hands. If you ever get into a situation where you need to use your gun, someone might be injured, you might be injured, you might need to give medical attention to somebody or to yourself, and you need to be able to put your gun away so you don't just put it on the ground. And something like this allows you to reholster with one hand very easily because it's open, it's an open shell, and it's not gonna collapse back on itself like some of the other belly bands do. I also love how they cut this part of the holster out so when you grip your gun you can put your whole hand around it. I think that that's really, really cool because a lot of holsters don't allow you to do that. But this grip is totally open so I can get a good grip on that gun while it's in the holster and when I'm ready to draw. So I really love that. For functionality, I'm gonna give this one a five. The next belly band I'm gonna talk about is this belly band by Crossbreed Holsters. I love Crossbreed. I love their inside the waistband holsters. They're super comfortable. And I want to love this one, but I don't. But let's go ahead with the ratings and I'll tell you what I don't and do like about it. I feel like this belly band doesn't have anywhere to sit. The material is not exactly comfortable. I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just a thick elastic band and it's not wide enough where it's super comfortable like the Bravo belt is it's kind of in between the Tactica holster and the Bravo belt in its width. So it's kind of in this like awkward in between range for how wide it is. So this one's not very comfortable. The material digs into your skin and I just don't think I could wear this all day long. So for comfort, I would give this holster a one and a half. Another thing is that it moves around quite a bit. There's nothing on it to help it stick to your body and the material just makes it move around even if you have it on pretty tight and it doesn't really stay put in the place where you put it to begin with. So for movement, I give this holster a one. It conceals okay, but the grip of the gun kind of sticks out a bit because of the way it's angled and because of the Kydex holster inside, it makes it stick out more. So for concealment, I would give it a two. Something that is nice about this holster is that it has a Kydex shell and you can remove it and then put a different one on if you're gonna carry a different gun and you have a holster for both of them. So it comes off and you can decide where you want it on the belly band. It's got all these different Velcro strips you could stick it to. So that's nice. There's no way to pull the trigger because it's in a hard Kydex shell. So for safety, I give this a five. For functionality, I give this holster a two out of five because I have to wear it high up on my waist so that it doesn't move around. Otherwise, it'll start to slide around. So when I wear it high up like that, it's hard for me to get my hand around the gun. So it makes it harder to draw. The nice thing is that you can reholster it with one hand because it is in a Kydex shell. The last belly band I'm gonna talk about is my favorite. This is the Can Can Concealment Belly Band. It's the classic hip hugger and I've shown this in a, quite a few of my other videos. If you've seen my how to run with a gun videos, this is the one that I wear when I go running. So we'll start with comfort. This one is a nice width. It's kind of in between all the other ones. So it's not gonna dig into your skin as much as something with a thinner band. And the material is really soft and comfortable. So for comfort, I would give this a 
four. This Can Can Concealment Belly Band also has these silicone strips that run all the way down on both sides of it on the inside. And that allows it to really stick to you and not let it move around at all. That's why I really like this for when I go running because it's the only one that won't move when you're running. So for movement, I give this one a five. It really holds the holster in place and doesn't let your gun move around while you're wearing it. This belly band also has four holster pockets. It has two in the back and two in the front, and I can say that you could carry four guns on your body and still conceal them pretty well. I'm giving this holster a five for concealment. I wear it with lots of different outfits and it works really well. This holster gets a lower rating for safety than some of the other ones because the only thing guarding the trigger is this elastic right here. And I'll show you guys right now, if you use two fingers and two hands and really pull, you can press the trigger through the material. So if you don't like that, but you still want to get this holster, you can get trigger guard inserts and sew something in here to guard that trigger. But you have to try really hard to do that. I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to pull the trigger from the outside. So for safety, I give this holster a two because it is possible to pull the trigger from the outside. It's difficult, but it's possible. For functionality, I'm gonna give this holster a four and a half because the angle is down, so you have to grip the gun like this, unlike the Tactica one where it's at more of an angle. But if you practice with any of these, you'll get really fast. I also like that you can carry in four different pockets. It's got a lot of pockets on the sides where you can carry your magazines, your phone, your knife, your pepper spray. I also like that there's a pocket right next to where you hold your gun so you can put your magazines in there and do reloads right from your belly band without having to have your magazine in a pocket on your pants or anything like that. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. I'll include the links for everything below in case you want to get one of these holsters. Make sure you use my discount codes for some of them. I'll also have those below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!